London has an incredible history of media and innovation. We've long held a competitive advantage. We have superior connectivity, major studios, international screen, screen corporates, a strong ecosystem and in-demand talent. Let's the only globally recognised wall brand. 800 million visitors a year, uh, 1,700 digital screens uh, across that network. Of course, as we emerge from the pandemic, I think more than ever before, people are craving physical experiences. They want to go shopping with their friends, they want to go to events and experiences. Um, and our mall has increasingly become a community hub in the area where customers come expecting something different every single time. So the history of the company is very much in the live event space. So Rock and Roll, Joe Coffey, Lady Gaga, uh, Beyonce World Tour. So all the kind of display technologies and getting those screens to work with LED, with uh, projection mapping, all that kind of thing. And so I guess you could say we've come from quite a physical world, doing installations, doing LEDs, doing projection mapping, but we're increasingly doing this hybrid, this physical and virtual world, which is really interesting. So there's quite a serious type of documentary that I make. I think it's not the kind of thing that people expect to watch when you say I make YouTube videos. It's kind of serious documentary is what I always wanted to make, but it took me about 10 years to get there. When I left university in 2012, I was told very firmly that I could not get into the kind of current affairs documentaries, journalistic documentaries, without a journalism MA, which at the time was £12,000, and the student loans didn't exist, and I just couldn't do it. So I decided to do it the hard way by working my way up. Worked with creating an app um, with some of the members of Grenfell United, where buildings in the area around Grenfell, which as you know is really close to here, can be scanned with some information, some stories around the sort of socio-political issues regarding Grenfell were revealed with the app. So a lot of the work that we do is about critically engaging with digital technologies and kind of interfacing and working with spaces that are very local or very unlocal. If you spend any time on the internet, you'll find lots of videos of, of, of geniuses, quite frankly. They've built these machines that can you know, hold a volume of water and hold an apple, and they can connect that to the motion control system with the camera, and you can time everything to my new absolute precision so that a little water hits an apple that. But I can tell you from experience that a bucket works just as well. <laughs>